What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Thursday to you guys. I am sitting here on the sidewalk because I didn't want you guys to see inside the van just yet. I am super excited to reveal to you guys my new van setup. I believe that I added the right number of things inside the van to give it that homey feel, as well as the visual aspect of the van. I'm a very visual person when it comes to the decor of my van. As you guys know from previous uh, van uh, decors that I've had when I had the other minivan, which I've changed that inside of that van probably seven times. And so having a place and being in a space that makes me feel homey and makes me feel comfortable as well as a nice visual everywhere I look inside the van is very important to me. So I hope you guys like what I've done to it. I think I did a really good job. And after I show you guys the inside of the van and the out, the back of the van, I am also going to share with you guys my experience with the company Van Packers in Montreal, Canada. And I'm also going to talk about a couple of things that I have learned thus far having this kit now. I slept in it now for three days. And wrapping up the video, was this worth the money? Was this kit worth the money? So now guys, I'm super excited and here is my new van tour. <laughs> First thing that I noticed after the kit was installed and I got into the van for the first time is how open this space felt. 
it felt like I had so much more space, but I was in the same space. And I feel like now I can move around easier. I can move from here to there, from there to here, much easier. And the thing about this kit is, it's an organized kit. There isn't a lot of room where you can clutter this space up now. You have two storage modules in front of you. You have a long bench storage module underneath your couch here. So there isn't a lot of space for you to <laughs> add or bring or put inside of this van. It forces you to stay organized. Now, that's the other thing. The next thing I wanted to talk to you or mention is I could not bring everything in this van prior to getting the kit into the van now. So I had to downsize even more. I had to bring less clothes. I had to bring less food because my food pantry in the back now is about this small as opposed to my gray storage ottoman, which I was able to store quite a bit of food in that which I can't bring that with me now. So this kit, number one for me, it opens up your space and it forces you to downsize and really, really have with you the things that you need. So now I wanna share with you guys some of the things that I really, really love about having this kit inside of my van. And one of the things that I enjoy in the short period of time that I've had this uh, kit in my van is that the ability to sit up. Wowzer. I can sit, <laughs> wowzer. <laughs> I can sit up in this van. Look at this. I can sit up. I have back support now, whereas in my other design, I did not. I had my bed. I had nothing in the back of me. I had to, I bought that little black uh, back thing that you put in the back and that did, after a minute, that that softened up and you had to put another pillow there, etc. I now can sit up. Look at this. I can sit up. I can cross my legs. It is just so comfortable. And do you know how important that is on rainy days where you can't be outside and you have to hang out in your van either all day or for a number of hours and in my other setup I was just not comfortable yes I could have sat in my front seat but that's not my ideal way of living in the van my ideal way of living in the van if the weather is bad I want to be able to come into my main space and relax and relax in a way where it's not jeopardizing my health. So now I can get in here when it's raining, I can sit right here and be comfortable. The second part of that is I now have this table right here. Let me see if I can move you guys around a little bit. <clears throat> All right, there we go. <clears throat> is that now, oh, oh, my voice, what's going on? <laughs> My voice went down. But I now have... This is the downfall of this daggone Dodge Caravan. As much as I love this van, is this whole center console here. It, it, if this was not here, it, it, my headspace would be even all the way across. So now I have to be very conscious every time I slide too far over this way. But anywho, I now have a table right here. A proper table. Do you know, let me tell you what this means to me personally, having this table here. What this means for me is when I want to shave, bam, I have a table to shave on. When I want to brush my teeth in the morning, <clears throat> when I want to brush my teeth in the morning, see, I hate this, I don't hate it, but I dislike it. When I want to brush my teeth in the morning, I have a table to place and put all my things on. If I want, if we having bad weather, I have a table in here that I can put my 
cooktop on and cook in here on using my induction cooktop. A lot of people were saying, you know, well, what if it's raining outside, whatever, you know, one or two things. I would just not cook that day or I will cook inside. I do have that induction cooktop that I can use on the inside. I would just cook inside and having this table here is just, you know, this is, this is game changing for me. Just this one aspect of this uh, kit. Now also what this means is I can put my laptop right here and relax and watch a movie or do whatever I am doing on my laptop or my phone. You know, if I want to watch and do something on my phone. This table just makes the functionality of this space that much better, you know. So I love, love having this table. And one of the good things about this table, if you didn't watch uh, Van Packer's video, is that this table can be right here. It can be right where I'm sitting. It can be across from me in the middle. But I like it right here on the side because it gives me this space to come in and out of the van. So having this table to me is, is just, it's wonderful. I mean, it is wonderful. I've only had this kit in here for um, about a week now, and I've been actually living in it and using the space for about three days now. And I can tell already how much of a difference having this table right here has made my functionality inside of this van so much better all right so we moved to the back of the kitchen now now for the most part i really love this kitchen to be it reminded me of when i had my other van and i had the, i built my own homemade outdoor kitchen in the back and i cooked so many times out of the back of that van at this parking ride that I am at right now and I absolutely loved it so to be able to go back and do that again with this kit it just brings back memories and I'm so excited to get the cooking in the back of this van like I did before but there are one or two things that uh, I think can be improved about this kitchen the first thing we're well, not necessarily improved but you'll see what I mean all right, the first thing I want to just bring to your attention is that let me move you guys a little bit back so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay. All right, is this section right here, which right now I have my induction stove on. Now, typically, I bought their stove. Not typically, I bought their stove. But I bought their stove, but that's a uh, propane stove. And as you guys know, I was gifted so many cans of butane, and I want to use every last one of those cans. So I'm going to be using my uh, butane stove until I use up all of those canisters. So I won't get to the propane for a very long time. It may not even be this year. but. What I wanted to bring out or mention to you guys is that my two burner cooktop does not fit the space. I put it on there and it's too long because it's longer than the, uh, the propane stove because it has the two canisters on one on each end of the two burner cooktop. So I can't sit my two burner on here. So I do still have my one burner gas one cooktop and that's what I'm going to be using. I haven't figured out quite what I can do to this or add to this to be able to put my cooktop on here, my two burner cooktop on here because I really, really, really want to just use this kitchen as a whole. You know, when I decide to cook, I really want to just go through the whole cooking process of in the being in the back of the van i don't want to have to make any altercations or whatever but i'm still thinking what can i do to this section here to make this part here a little longer i don't know 
because <laughs> I really want it. Now, I don't have a problem with going back to using my one burner for a while, especially until after the, all the um, canisters, the butane canisters are used up. I don't have a problem with that. I mean, I still can hang on and will hang on to my two uh, burner stove. But I think for now, it's going to be easier for me to just use my induction right here or my uh, one burner cooktop. So just to let you guys know, if you don't see the two burner, and I might use the two burner in certain situations, depending on the meal that I fix or something like that. But I wish that spot was, I wish this section right here was a little bit longer to accommodate not just the size of the stoves that they are selling, but an actual two burner uh, canister stove. The next thing I want to point out and mention to you guys is this. <clears throat> when your blue jug that comes with the kit, when you fill that out with water, it's going to be very, very heavy. So I do not recommend pulling that section out when your jug is filled up all the way out because you don't want to uh, compromise the uh, the weight of the jug and you don't really need to pull it all the way out in order for it to function properly with the sink. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this is the sink pulled all the way out, the section of the sink. You don't need this section with your pantry and your water jug to come all the way out like this. You can't, you can't use the sink if you pull it all the way out anyway. So my suggestion is to only pull it out about right there. Your water from your spout will still have plenty of room to go inside of your sink if you need to use your, uh, your water. So pull it out. That way, when it's all the way out, you know, you're not constantly having the weight of that water jug out. It will hold that weight of the water jug much better if you just pull it out a little bit, if you know what I mean. And now my pantry spot. This is all the pantry space that I have. It's definitely going to make me a lot mindful when I go to the grocery store. I'm going to try my very best from this point on to use everything that I have in here or close to everything before going back and buying something else. I have the tendency, I'm quite sure a lot of you guys do this as well, have the tendency of when you go to the grocery store just to pick up a couple items and you buy a lot more items and then you still have a bunch of stuff in here. So I'm going to try my very best now moving forward to eat everything that's in here first before buying more stuff to put in here. Unless I want to fix a specific dish and I have to buy other items, but I will be using them for that specific dish. Top of here, I bought these two wo uh, woven baskets. Is that what they call it? I bought those. And in this one, I have all of my long uh, cut color cutlery. Oh my God, Anthony. Cutlery is in. Things like this, my spatula, my steering spoon, my little whisk. In this basket, I haven't put them in there yet, but this basket right here is going to house all of my seasonings and everything in there. I have a little space on the side there. Now, I put my refrigerator in here, and I don't know why see i have my refrigerator plugged into my uh blue eddy eb55 right now and for some reason it keeps 
popping out when I drive. I'm getting ready to go and get my um, Jackery 2000 and I'm gonna plug that fridge into there. It's a much, a better plug-in. I don't know what's going on with that, uh, that Blue Eddy. It keeps coming out. And right now my fridge should be on and it's off. So, and in the back of the here, because this refrigerator is a smaller refrigerator than the refrigerator that uh, Van Packers was offering, uh, I have some space in the back of the refrigerator. And right now I have some Diet Coke, my vinegar so that I can have my vinegar and water mixture fill up. And I have, I keep some of this uh, butane in here. I have two more of these in, in the van. And underneath here, here, underneath here, let me move y'all back a little bit. Underneath here, I have my two pots or my pot and frying pan. And this is where I keep my two burner cooktops. See how long this is? It doesn't fit on there. And my griddle. So for the number of things that I have in here, everything has its place. I'm pretty pleased at where uh, I put things. It's easy when I'm back here cooking, it's going to be easy for me to reach and get things and utilize the back of this kit. I'm so excited. I'll be at a campground tomorrow for two whole weeks and I'm gonna really, really utilize this back kitchen and really utilize the inside of this van. Now I want to share my experience with you guys with the company Van Packers in Montreal, Canada. Um, when I got there, first, let me just say, I couldn't find the place. <laughs> I could not find the place. It was, um, I was on the right street, but it was a very, it was a colorful, colorful uh, block. And um, I didn't see a clear entrance into the place. And the reason why is because it was actually a garage door type of entrance where they had to open up the garage door. You know, just like your home, a, a garage door opens up. It wasn't like a clear entrance where you can whip your vehicle into their space. So I was thinking, am I at the right place? You know, because I don't see, and I don't believe I even saw a, a van packer sign outside to let me know that I was there. So um, I pulled up across the street. It was a it was a relatively busy street, so it wasn't like I can just stop and, and, and call and talk and everything. But I was able to park on the opposite side of the street um, and give them a call and let them know that I was there. And then I looked across the street and I saw the garage door going up and a, a young man came outside. I kind of waved and said, okay. And then I just whipped my van around and whipped into their space. So for me, it's not the ideal situation to, you know, you know, you know you're there, but it was okay. So I went into the space and I was greeted by a young lady and I don't remember the name, I'm sorry. I was greeted by a young lady and then, um, Another young lady and a man, a young man, started um, working on the van. I had uh, my bed in there, so I took the bed out and placed it somewhere. But anyway, um, she was very nice. She was very, very nice. Um, they uh, they seem to be excited when someone from the states come there to pick up their kit and they get a chance to talk to them and we had a very very nice conversation i was able to ask a little bit about you know how their company is doing and she gave me a little background about 
the company, uh, so to speak. Uh, not too much. I didn't get too in depth with it. You know, I just asked some basic questions like, how's the company doing? And she said they're doing very well, you know, and they decided to, you know, sell the kids. They started out as renting the vans, camper vans, and then they decided to uh, sell them, I think two and a half years ago now, and as well as the States. So I thought it was pretty interesting. And then I turned around and the guy from the video, Gabriel, walked in and I, I'm not even gonna lie, I was a little video starstruck, little YouTube starstruck, cause I was like, ah, the guy from the video. <laughs> And after the kit was installed, he walked me through everything uh, once again. And he too was a very nice person. And he even asked if I wanted to see the upstairs of their building. Downstairs is where they had all the kits and all the materials and stuff. And the upstairs was where I guess the, what I was assuming before I got up there was the office space and all of that. So he took me up there and um, it was a great space. It was very eclectic. It was a lot of visuals all the way around everywhere. I found myself just looking around everywhere at it. It was such an amazing workspace. And I think you need that in a workspace to help keep you motivated and you know, just your overall being at a workspace. And I saw about seven people there. So I guess that was their staff. So overall, they were very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, the young lady gave me a Van Packers uh, sweatshirt. I'll show it to you guys. Let me see. Uh-oh, it's gonna be a little tricky here. But let me show it to you guys. Ah, right. you know what? It's on this side where my clothes are. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open this up all the way. Okay, here we go. So they gave me this Van Packers hoodie which I like. They gave me that. And they also gave me two of these Van Packer like, key hooks. So they were very nice. Of course, it's not time for that again. I have to wait till winter time to get into that. But my experience with them, they were really, really nice. Um, whenever I had a question or anything, I text them. Um, they responded back in um, an acceptable time, I would say. And the experience was great. It was. I mean, again, I was so excited when they was putting the kit in. All I was saying was, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I know they probably got tired of me saying that. But I was. I was really, really excited. And I am still just as excited to really start living and using this kit that I put in here. Um, and it was a very good experience. And I enjoyed meeting uh, Gabriel from the video and everyone else there. Um, he asked if he could take a photograph of me, a picture of me by the back of the van with the hatch up with the kitchen area so that he can put on his Facebook and he also upstairs in the work area he asked me to put a pin on a map that they had on there of where I was from and he took a picture of me doing that as well so I had a really great experience with them and I enjoyed um, meeting them in person and actually seeing their workspace as well as the material space of their um, overall space. So now let's talk about the cost of this kit and do I think this kit was worth uh, the money. I paid $4,700 for this kit. Um, the base price for the kit for the Dodge Grand Caravan is $4,500, but I upgraded to 
four inch mattresses. I don't know whether to call these things cushions or mattresses. Uh, I go back and forth with it, but I ordered, I uh, upgraded from a three inch to a four inch. Now that I have the four inch ones, um, I'm not sure that I needed that upgrade because it wasn't like I went from a two inch to a four inch. Uh, the, the base, the standard cushions that comes with the kit are three inches. So I'm not sure if I needed to upgrade it to a four inch mattress. Um, Cause when I think about it now, I've actually taken an inch off of my height space. And I don't think that it would have compromised the comfort of the mattress or the cushion. So I would not recommend getting the three inch, I mean, getting the four inch ones. I think the three inch mattresses or cushions will be just fine, especially if you are taller than I am, which y'all know I'm only 5'2", so more than likely, everybody else gonna be taller than me that purchase this kit. <laughs> so I would, I would not recommend taking that inch of height space away. I also bought the um, propane stove that they offered as well as the flexible um, connection to that propane stove. Um, so that took my total from the base price of 4,500 to 4,700. Now I did consider getting the refrigerator, but I do like my refrigerator and I haven't had it very long. So I didn't really see the need of purchasing either of the refrigerators that they were offering with their kit. Now, do I think that this kit is worth $4,700. I absolutely do. I think it's worth every penny. And I think it's worth every penny because what I, when I look at what I have and the way that my van is situated now versus what I had my DIY uh, setup, which again, I love that setup, but I wanted something a little more polished, a little more organized, and a little more less cluttered because the space that I had before, it did allow me to just stuff and put more things in. This space that I have now doesn't allow me to do that. So that's one of the things that I really like about this design is that my van will never become cluttered. Even though I'm a very neat and organized person and that's probably likely to happen anyway, but now I know it will not happen. So another reason why I think that the, it was worth the money is because of the upgrades that I have in my living space now. Once again, I'm able to sit up. I have a table that I can use for multiple reasons, multiple things. I have a full size bed a full size bed and to me that might even be the number one <laughs> that alone might be the number one reason why this kit is worth every bit of the money that I paid for it is I have a double size bed and I, I, I just love it I mean, I felt like I, at the time I'm making this video, I've slept in this van on that double bed three nights already. And I'm telling you, if I did not have to get up and use the bathroom once a night, sometimes twice, I would be getting the absolute best sleep. And I am sleeping so much better now up until the point that I have to get up and use the bathroom. And that is something that I noticed almost right away that the past three nights yeah, I feel like I'm sleeping more sound if that makes any sense because a lot of times prior to getting this kit I felt like I wasn't sleeping I was more like resting with my eyes closed and you know you still wake up a little bit unrested but I kid you not the last three nights I feel like I actually was sleeping and that to me is that in itself is worth the money that I paid for this kit um, overall to sum it up I love this kit I do 
I love what it has done for my space. I love that I now have a dedicated space in the back of the van that I can cook in like every day. Because when you look at the type of lifestyle that I live this lifestyle, which is basically a lot of campgrounds, this is the perfect setup for that type of lifestyle, that type of living this lifestyle, is that I am so excited to get to this campground tomorrow and be there for two weeks and just really get into the use of this kit and the uh, use of that back kitchen and everything. So with that being said, I do have one concern and one suggestion for van packers. And the one suggestion that I have for van uh, packers is this. I would like to see you guys smooth out your edges. I would like to see van packers to smooth out your edges here along this table because this is very smooth here and underneath here. But the edges all around, all around are not smooth along the sides. And I noticed that and it was brought to my attention because my legs, the back of my legs when I'm sitting up would sometimes graze the ones, the uneven spots down on the, uh, the, the unit here. And it's not a very good feeling, you know, and it makes me a lot aware now of the placement of my legs and my feet. And I don't want to have to think about stuff like that. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to come into my space, live in my space as freely as possible. And I don't want to have to think about, oh my goodness, if my leg scrape up against this section of the uh, unit where it's not shaved down. So van packers, Show a little more love, take that extra step, that extra effort, and let's sand down these sides. Now, I haven't decided whether I'm going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a piece of sandpaper and sand them down. Now, the table, I would say, okay, it's not that big of a deal, but the, the ones that are down in the front of the unit where my legs can scrape up against it as I'm sitting down or moving from side to side, yes, that's a big deal for me. Now, the other thing, I think I had one other thing that wasn't like a suggestion for van packers. But anyway, since I cannot think of it right now, it will not be said right now. But overall, guys, I love, love, I love it. I love, love, love it. I, it just, it looks much better in here. It gives me that homey feel. And I'm glad I bought it. All right, guys, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. <clears throat> Let me know in the comment. <clears throat> excuse me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about what I have done to the van. I think it looks amazing in here. Once again, I did just enough to give me that homey feel in here, that, that visual aspect that I like in the decors of my space. And I'm glad I did it. So with that being said, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.